Global illumination is something you can only find in 3D dedicated software, but we can recreate a similar look in After Effects. This is my first video in 2024, and obviously, there's a lot of snow here in Bavaria, Germany. And I'll start with a quick tip tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to fake global illumination in After Effects now that we are able to treat 3D models natively in a non-beta version. The 3D features are still limited, two of them are image-based lighting and 3D model-driven effects, but with the help of compositing tricks we already do in After Effects, they're good enough to squeeze out the seemingly impossible. Let's jump right into After Effects. Here we have a composition that I named Global Illumination with 1280 by 720 pixels. It's a bit smaller than HD for performance reasons. The comp already includes the corner as a 3D object, a 3D camera and a preliminary point light because without the light the scene gets overexposed. Like I did with the 3D corner before, you can now import any 3D JLP file since the official After Effects version 24.1. Like this sphere that I already pre-textured in Cinema 4D to give it a luminous look. By the way, you can download this raw project file for free with the 3D objects included, so you can also follow the same steps of this tutorial. Like I suggested before, a new feature is that you can use HDRI files to illuminate the 3D scene. For our purpose, we need an HDRI map with a single light source. There are many sources for free HDRI maps, but in my case, I downloaded them from the website lightmap.co.uk. In Photoshop, open this image, copy-paste one of the softboxes into a new layer, make the rest black and position it to the center. Then scale it down vertically to make it a square one. Because the original file is an EXR file, you have to save it as HDR, the only format After Effects accepts for image-based lighting. Import the HDRI file into After Effects. Instead of the point light, we need an environment light. So delete the point light, go to Layer, New and select Light and set Light Type to Environment. Insert the HDRI file into the composition, switch it off to make it invisible and set light source to the HDRI layer. But make sure that cast shadows is set to on to get a nice soft shadow. Then open the transform group and change the X rotation and Y rotation until the scene gets evenly illuminated. So no plane should be significantly brighter or darker than the other ones. This way, the shadow moves into the center. Then increase the light intensity until the background gets almost white, but without losing the soft shadow. I know, you can barely see the shadow, but squinting could help. Next, select the environment light and the 3D sphere, go to Edit and select Copy with Property Links. Duplicate the composition and to open it, delete the existing environment light and sphere layer and paste the copied layers instead. In the light option, set the source back to the HDRI layer. By double pressing the E key, you can reveal the light's expressions that were created to link the properties. Then deactivate the expressions for the intensity. Return to the original composition, switch off the shadows and decrease the intensity until the sphere doesn't look overexposed anymore. Then insert the duplicated composition below the sphere layer to restore the shadows now coming from the subcomp. Thanks to the linked properties, the original sphere controls the sphere and the pre-composition along with the shadow. Now look for the invert effect and apply it to the pre-comp. And look at this. We've just transformed the shadow into something that looks like global illumination. And because the environment lights are also property linked, we can fine-tune the fake global illumination with the X and Y rotation. What you can also do is apply a curves effect to the subcomp to make the faux lighting more prominent. Although the 3D capabilities are still limited, one of the advantages in After Effects is that you can easily make up for them with compositing tricks. And changing the light color is a piece of cake too. 
Just insert an adjustment layer on top of everything, apply a tritone effect and change the midtones. You might say, wow, how complicated is this? Why not just place a simple point light with a fall off in the center of the sphere to emulate global illumination? When we replace the sphere with an object of irregular shape, like a pyramid, and transform it, you can see that the fake global illumination reflects the 3D object's shape. But feel free to combine it with a point light, like I did in this example, to make the global illumination even more believable. This is what it looks like in Cinema 4D. The sphere looks different here. So, let's put the sphere back again and try to match the color. In After Effects, you cannot directly apply effects to 3D object layers. A workaround is to create a new solid, apply a calculations effect to it, set the second layer to the 3D sphere and increase the second layer opacity to 100%. To make the black background transparent, change the blending mode to copy. This way, you can treat the 3D object as a 2D layer, meaning that you can now add any effect to it like the levels effect with which you can color correct the sphere and CC light burst to add some decent light rays. To composite it properly, you can duplicate the layer, set the blending mode to screen and adjust the levels effect. Of course, the method only works when your camera is static or has minimal movement, and it doesn't fake illuminate complex 3D models. But when you have a simple abstract scene like this, it can compete with true global illumination from 3D dedicated software. And that's it guys. I hope this was a useful tutorial for you. See you next time.